A very good morning to you, beautiful new morning the Lord has given us. The Bible tells us his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. We are glad to be alive today. Rebecca Chabi in Nakuru, how are you doing this morning? Good to know you're tuned in today. We appreciate your company. Head Asha Margaret Kibosia, good to know you're tuned in as well. Jackson, Karibu Sana, all the way from Kandara. Eunice Chieng, you're tuned in. Mamambula, good to know you're tuned in as well. Mothoni, how how are you doing this morning? Karibu sana, good to know you're tuned in as well. First things first, let's pray. Heavenly Father, it is indeed a blessing and an honor to be alive today. We thank you, we give you praise. We glorify your name, declaring truly there is none like our God, Jehovah. You are high and lifted up, blessed being the name of the Lord our God. Thank you for this opportunity to come together yet again as we begin a brand new day together. Father, we choose to begin the day with you, and we choose to begin the day one with another as we fellowship, Lord, over your word, and as we challenge each other to grow, even as iron sharpens iron. I want to thank you for everybody who's tuned in this morning. I commit them before you, Jehovah. I ask that, Lord, you you would give them an amazing day today. The Lord, you would strengthen them, King of all glory. That your peace, which supersedes all human understanding, will be their portion today and that the joy of the Lord will be their strength. May they walk in the favor of the Lord today. May the blessing of the Lord overflow in their lives today in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that fear is not their portion for you have not given us a spirit of fear but one of power, love, and a sound mind. Give us discernment, Jehovah my Father, not to be ignorant ignorant of the devices of the enemy but that lord we shall arise and walk in the power and in the favor of god over our lives for you have given us authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy i thank you for your servant today as he comes in to minister to us jehovah speak through him my father let the anointing of the lord rest upon him as he opens up his mouth to speak may we hear your voice through him in the mighty name of jesus this morning we thank you for the church of jesus christ in this nation my father may we continue to be the salt of and the light of this world bind us together with codes of love that cannot be broken may we be true representatives of the heavenly kingdom here on earth as we decree thy will in on earth be, thy will in, on earth be done as it is in heaven king of all glory i thank you for this nation and for the people of kenya father watch over us and protect us we thank you we honor you we give you praise in jesus name we pray everybody say it a good loud amen so here we are thursday morning the day when we hear from the silent listeners all the silent listeners leonis ikuyenyu this is the day where you tell us who you are where you're tuned in from what scripture you're anchored on today and uh we continue with our series this week this week we are looking at the gifts of the spirit from i have john charlie Lawrence, from kisumu like you say you kondani already in Thanks good so to much. hear from God you bless. elder philip from ahero how are you doing today psalms 21 verses 1 and 2 is your scripture this morning we appreciate your company thank you for tuning in today jackson you are on romans 8 28 beautiful scripture thank you for sharing that with us kelly Mbithi, you are watching for watching from katani and you are on psalms 121 we appreciate your company thank you for taking the time to hook up with us today shiko all the way from bradford you are on proverbs 11 and verse 26 we appreciate your text message this morning dave on from nyamira how are you doing my friend good to hear from you welcome to the devotional today joyce from uganda always a blessing to hear from you psalms 33 verses 1 through to 4 as your scripture my good friend mamambula how are you doing today always good to know you're tuned in Karibu sana, Joshua 1, 7 through to 9 is your scripture for today. We appreciate your company. This week, we are looking at the gift of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 7 uh, to 11. I'll only, I'll only read verse 7. It says, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. That's where we've been dwelling since Monday. You know, today we want to look at what are some of the reasons why people don't receive this gift. Each one is given. Each one. If you're a believer, you're part of each one. You're given the manifestation of the Spirit. Question is, can we see that manifestation of the Spirit in your life? 
Maybe we don't. Why? Because of ignorance. A lot of believers have no idea that God has given them a spiritual gift for them to use for the benefit of the body. The Bible says in the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. It is there, but because you're ignorant, you don't know it's there, and so you don't get to benefit from it. And I pray that this week we are getting informed that we have been given gifts that we are supposed to be using for the benefit of all. Another reason why people don't manifest in these gifts that have already been given to them is the whole issue of uh, <laughs> lack of faith and belief. We think these gifts are for special people, the prophets, the pastors, you know. While on Asimamaga Ukombele, the worship leaders, somebody like me who's taking a back seat, I don't think I have been given mm, unbelief. Bible tells us in Hebrews 11, 6, but without faith it is impossible to please God, for they that come to him must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You need to have faith. There's no way you and I can receive anything from God if we do not have faith without faith it is impossible to please him so ignorance unbelief oh my goodness me keeping people away from what god has given them you know faith comes by hearing hearing by the word of god that's the other place my friend that we need to talk about fear fear you see fear cannot faith cannot thrive where fear is thriving no we have to allow faith to overcome the fears that we have in us. Sometimes we are afraid, what if it is not there? What if I say this and it's not, it's just me thinking, no, 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 no. Fear, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. That's Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear. What does that mean? It means that we have faith as we read the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Power to walk in the supernatural. He's not given us a spirit of fear. He's given us a spirit of power to walk in the supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, he's given us love. Oh, my goodness love so that we may use these gifts for the benefit of all as we love our neighbors as we love ourselves a sound mind to understand spiritual things and the things of God as we fellowship with the Holy Spirit I pray that you and I this week will begin to manifest and to walk in the gifts of the Spirit which have already been endowed to us Pastor Rengo will be joining us shortly as we dig deeper and continue to gain more understanding into the whole aspect of the gifts of the Spirit in case you're just joining us Karibu Sana it is the Jam 316 devotional hour we do this every weekday from 7 until 8 in the morning but beginning Monday we go back to our old time schedule so you need to take an uh, you need to make a mental note that from Monday the 6th Jam 316 devotional hour will be from 6 to 7 in the morning we are going back to that from next week PSV driver on Mombasa Road you're tuned in John Goge how are you doing my friend thank you for your SMS this morning ambia watu unapeleka kazini wa smile it's a good day najua kuna baridi but they should put a good smile on their face because it is going to be a lovely day James Eshiromo from John Saga karibu sana Psalms 119 verses 18 and 19 and then i have uh, my silent listener from Ruaka, Nyams, how are you doing today? Good to hear from you. You say I'm more than blessed this week, learning a lot as I take my Eden tea. Ah, when do you want to do Eh, Reure, <laughs> did you get some Eden tea? <laughs> eh, did you get some Eden tea? Or oh, we need to say what Pastor taught us last week. What did he say? Kagoro <laughs> Deidia. You need to ask your feet to help you to run to the supermarket, get yourself some Eden tea. It is truly the finest garden tea. And Eden tea is reminding us in this season to remember the little things. The Bible says it is the little foxes that spoil the vine. What are those little things? Wash your hands with soap and running water consistently. Put on a face mask when you go out to interact with people. And even as you interact with people, ensure you maintain social distancing one and a half to two meters as you interact with others and don't touch your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Those are the important things that Eden Tea is reminding us in this season because together we will beat the spread of coronavirus. In studio with me today, Pastor Amos Orengo. Mchungaji, how are you doing? I'm doing well, blessed of God. 
how is thick up. Thick with God's goodness, and that is the place to be. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And somebody you told me yesterday. Yes. Every time they hear Pastor Rengo is mm -hmm. the one coming to the studio, mm -hmm. they always wait for that statement. <laughs> how is thick up. It is thick, and that's the truth. It is thick. Is thick with God's goodness. It is. It's, it's a true. good place to be. It is a good place. Mm, very good. Especially I've lived there. Yes, yes. I can testify. I'm telling you. Yes. It's coming better by the day uh -huh. by the grace of God. Awesome. Amen. So the the, the gift of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is what's on the menu this week. Yes, yes. And it is amazing. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. It is a very important because sometimes, many times, it's, it's not even seminars. Mm -hmm. It's not very. It doesn't sell so much on seminars and yeah. conferences and all those kind of things. But it's very important. Yes. Because in essence, again, the church must grow from one depth of of knowledge of God to, to another, another level. Yes. We were created and made. We were born again to grow. The Bible says, God is us. Everyone to be born again and to come to the knowledge of that truth. Mm. To mature, mm. to move away from carnality to spirituality. Yes. To depend on the word of God and the spirit of God. Very true. And that is only possible when we appreciate the place of the gifts of the spirit. Mm. The Holy Ghost give, giving room to operate as he, he was ordained to operate. I mean, yes. as, as he ordained himself to operate. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if you've ever had this experience. Maybe you gave somebody a gift. Mm -hmm. You wrapped it well. Yes. You gave it to them. Mm. Maybe at a kuharusi. Yes, yes, yes. And then you visit them like mm. two or three years mm. later. Yes. And you notice, mm. ile box Iko pale pale. You feel bad. You're terribly bad. Yes. Let me tell you an interesting <laughs> one. I don't know that to say. I didn't feel bad, but I was amused. Yes. Mm, about uh, a month ago, mm -hmm. one young man comes around church, and we were in, and tells me, you know, pastor, things are very bad. This mm. corona, my wife left, and he went away with all the things that oh we had, the clothes and all this. So I would want some food and some clothes and if possible some money. I say money and food don't we have, but clothes we have. Yes. <laughs> you know, just like Peter said, silver and gold they don't have. Mm. But what they had they gave, he had the grace. We say, well, so we have some clothes here and some shoes. Actually, we, we had some that people had brought in for, mm. for, for the needy. Mm. So we put together, packaged it, and uh, the young man who was putting uh, put everything together under my supervision, and it was good for that particular need. Mm. Whatever he was up to, I don't know. A few minutes later, mm. we go out of the gate, near the church and we just find he packed those things so well and left them there ah. yes i just laughed i said <laughs> what was his intention all the same but uh i think life is like that even yes. god sees people like that mm. properly packaged with the gifts of god we just neglect them mm. in this life what you neglect you reject what you Ooh. reject you suffer for you say wow. you have rejected knowledge i'll reject your children and wow. you suffer for it that is god and so it is it, it, it is true sir mm. when you give somebody a gift and they pretend or they don't use it mm. you don't feel excited yeah you look at them atakama na ongea mkikunya chai ile yetu unajua hii chai ni ah ni ni PR tu lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba value kidogo value kidogo it's not value as much we do we treat go like that wow. and it becomes a problem because uh, with man nitaenda kwangu God atakuja kuuliza ile gift ulianrop ukapata nilikuwa nimekuwa kia kitu kingine. Have this story um sure it's about uh, I've seen so much on doing rounds mm -hmm. or, on WhatsApp. I think last year somewhere sometime back. Mm -hmm. Whereby there is this father who he tells his son to give him I think a car after he finishes the degree course. Yes. And then he finishes the degree course and then uh, the father doesn't give him. Na anaacha kwa kwa sijui kwa Bible or something. Na ambia nimeacha Bible hapo usome neno la Mungu kuwe vizuri na kijana sema bwana you are not serious. Uniagiza gari unanipatia Bible kitu gani? And then with time this man died and they were not in good terms with the father. Mm. Later on akaangalia vitu hapa na pale akapata note na kifungu ya gari na mali gari lilikuwa. And so you see he wasted his father mm. and his own life. He lost the blessing. Yes. He lost the comfort of his father in the I'm days that passed. Mm -hmm. wow. It happens with gifts. God can give you a gift defined in a very interesting way. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. popular in the church, in the assembly. Mm. When you are the first to have that kind of grace. And you look like, Apana Mr. Cook are different. Mm. I must operate like Pastor Rengo. I should operate this way. And it limits uh, what God has packaged for us for our own reward. Wow. Mm -hmm. Remind us a couple of things we've talked about before we engage into this. The gift of the Holy Spirit are basically intended for the body of Christ mm -hmm. is actually an expression of our love for God. We try to say that this ability, the Holy Spirit, given given room to operate in us mm. tools that build the body of Christ, yes. and He uses you and me in various ways. Mm -hmm. There are those spirit, I mean, gifts: uh, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, prophecy, and you know, uh, miracles, healing, and all those gifts. They are available. There are actually many. 
that mm. uh, Paul defines some in uh, tw uh, First Corinthians twelve seven, uh, seven. I mean one to fourteen, and uh, others are in Romans twelve six, and others of course the, the of course the Bible, uh, the interpretation of dreams and others. All these things are meant for every believer. Mm. Every one believer that is born again has a gift from the Lord, yes. and they require to develop them at a personal level to be useful in the kingdom of God. We have all been born again to be part of a God's family on the earth, mm. and we have a role to play, and that role requires the equipment of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And each one of us have to go there. And there are those kind of, uh, you know, there's a word effective operation. Mm -hmm. What makes them effective in our lives? Just like you said, the opposite is, I mean, uh, uh, understanding the opposite of ignorance. Mm. You need to have understanding that yeah. they exist. Yeah. You need to appreciate uh, that God has called you into operation, which you, so you begin to look out for each one is yours. You could also be humble enough to sit under a, a grace, yes. the man of God, a gift into you or the body of Christ, like a pastor, an apostle, whoever it is, for you to tap. Mm. We will talk about the impartation tomorrow, maybe, but all the same, we need to tap into those graces as we are trained and we grow in those gifts right. as we develop them. Those are some of the things we've been able to discuss across this uh, uh, season. And also, of course, uh, the, 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 the preparation we need to make for our hearts. We need mm. to be vessels of honor, mm. quality, people who, are, who love God. Yes. We need to walk in love for God in order for us to love others. It's difficult to know how to love people when you don't love God. Mm. It's your work with God that defines love in the way God wants you to love others. Yes. And that is what uh, activates the operation of these gifts in our lives. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So which direction are we going today? This day, uh, it is important, sir, to mm -hmm. remind ourselves that there's a difference between talents and, and gifts. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yes. There's a difference between talents and gifts. And sometimes people confuse. Even as questions have been coming in here and there, yeah. you notice, mm -hmm, it looks like yes, if right. we are mentioning uh, talents here. Yeah. But it's, imp it's important to know. Okay, all of them are, from, both of them are from God. Mm -hmm. But talents are those things that God endows in us at birth. Yeah. When we are born naturally from those our mamas. Everybody has. Everybody has natural gifts. Mm. But it's uh, the gifts of the, I mean, natural uh, talent, yeah. that's natural talents. But the gifts are only available at the point of being born again. again. Mm. So you don't have a gift of the Holy Spirit when you are uh, not born again. Yeah. Some people mistake uh, the supernatural with giftings. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Paul talks about that girl who was uh, a, a soothsayer, yes. that doing divination. Yes. And then uh, she, she was, of course, telling the truth. These are men of God who have yes. come to teach us the way of God. That was the truth. That was the truth. But the source is the source is corrupted. The source is corrupted. Even the seven servants, the seven sons of Skeva, they were exorcist <laughs> demonic <laughs> sons of a bishop. But the business they are doing is to exorcise the demons. Very bad. They were not born again. They were total lesson. And God uh, did not allow them to use the glorious name of Jesus Ooh. Christ. They used. In, they said the right thing. In the name of Jesus, mm. whom Paul preaches. Yes. In Acts chapter nineteen, verse eleven, there about, and it did not work because they were not born again. Mm. Two, these uh, natural gifts can be inherited by DNA. There's a way you can just be a left-handed uh, sh uh, shooter or uh, sniper by using your left hand yeah. because it's in, it runs in the blood. That's, yes. It is not so in the kingdom, in the gifts. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are imparted either by God or by the Holy, I mean, by, by, by graces upon people. Mm. And, and, and Moses laid hands in, on, on, on Joshua and received the wisdom to, to administer yes. people's destiny. And so the ones of the kingdom, I mean, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, they can only be imparted. They are not uh, inherited per They are se. not inherited. No, you don't inherit yeah. because, uh, you, you, because my son is a son of a pastor, he must not become pastor. Mm. He's not inherited, as, as it were. Yes. They are called, they are and called. even if he becomes pastor, yes. he may not necessarily flow in the grace, in the I, grace yes, you I, have. Yes, yes, except by impartation yes. or by direct calling from God yeah. and other methods. Mm. And of course, also the difference is that um, uh, these ones, the talents, are possessed by both believers and unbelievers. And unbelievers. But for the kingdom of God uh, gifts, I mean, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, they are only by those who are born again. And also, uh, talents mm. are for personal gain. When oh. a guy is a superstar in football, my friend, it is not for the community. It is for, that's a very good one. Mm. Personal gain. Yeah. And for the things of the gift of the Holy Spirit, they are for the common good. Wow. And so it's good to differentiate. Is it a talent we're talking about or is it a gift we're talking about? But mm -hmm. here we are committing ourselves to talk about the gifts, the gifts of the, of the, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. I think th th those four will do for, for, for now. Mm -hmm. And then we go to all that you have introduced us to, and that is talk about the hindrances, yeah. the effectiveness. Actually, the whole idea is about effectiveness mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. use of the gifts of God yeah. or allowing them to express themselves in our midst. 
And the number one casualty or number one reason why the, there's a hindrance is what Paul says in the the same chapter, chapter 1, chapter 2, verse, verse 1. Mm. He says that in matters of the gift of the Holy Spirit, I would not want you Corinthians to be ignorant, to be unaware, mm. to be unknowledgeable. Mm. Uh -huh. For these things here, they are not for special people. You remember, and these guys really excel in gifts. Uh, they were doing very crazy things in their, in their medicine. So the gifts of the Holy Spirit can be hindered by ignorance. First, I'm just thinking. Mm. I told him you're thinking pictures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm just thinking mm -hmm. on that day mm -hmm. when finally everything is revealed. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we'll look back and think, what? Mm -hmm. Just what, a minute. God, what do you mean? mean yes, I was we praying for this and this. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Like yes, 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 at our fingertips. And I pray to God to help me and help us here to make it, uh, to not to make it. To reveal it as easy as it is to operate in any grace and gift of life. To me, qualification number one is the love for God. The love for God, yes. If you love God, yes. everything else gets itself into place. So it's important for us to remind ourselves that therefore, ignorance is a dangerous thing. It cuts us off from being effective in terms of operating in the, any other gift, in the will of God, mm -hmm. in any other way. Once there's ignorance, we are cut off from effectiveness. And, and, and you see like uh, the church at Corinth, mm -hmm. it's not about, so what I'm saying is that let nobody limit themselves by thinking, you see, I'm not so, so I'm, I'm, I have a lot of flaws, I have a lot of weaknesses. Mm -hmm. the, those guys were, were more weak, almost wicked, not weakness. <laughs> You know, there's yes. a difference between weakness and, and wickedness. wickedness. Those were wicked. Mm. A man was sleeping with his mother and was accepted. It's not the, the, it's not the problem, it's not the, 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 the act that was accepted among the people in the church. This is believers. This is a, these are believers. Aye. But they were still ahead in Aye. gifts. Mm -hmm. The Corinthian church. Wow. So it's not about how flawless you are as much as we don't encourage us to, to sin is, you know, sin is terrible for you as an individual, mm. but a gift will benefit everybody else. Right yes. from the days of Jeremiah, yes. God warns the shepherds that you see, you will prophesy and tell them what to help them, but you'll not get there yourself. Mm -hmm. And you see also the gift, um, we must at this very point, actually, so that I don't digress, digress so much, mention that there's a difference between gifts and, and, and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The gifts are for the public, for the church, for the body of Christ. Yes. But you and God, there is the fruit that you need to enjoy. Mm. You said, well, you know, you know, the devil can and people can fake gifts. Yes. Like that woman, little girl. Yeah. She was, she was doing, she was saying the truth. So and so stole so and so's cow, and that's true. Mm. It was. They go and they find it, the fellow will confess, and she was able to walk into one supernatural state of life, just like a, a man, woman walking in the gift of uh, a word of knowledge. Mm. You know. Yes. She was doing something like that. Yeah. But it was from the devil can make heaven can be approved of God, but. Jesus said it's not about the miraculous mm -hmm. operations that you should be scared about a man. You shall know them by their fruits. So believer, as much as me think, hey, Pastor Kona Nalegeza Kamba Yadambi, Apana, gifts are not about maturity, mm. not about sinlessness. That somebody's operating the supernatural and afanya miujiza kila ina, hai sa, 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 hai and I saw my brother say, my I'll make you as white as snow. Say, yeah. I'm not like snow. I'm still brown, <laughs> still gray. Yeah. In other I'm still gray. I don't need to go to stand before the people. No. Well, we don't encourage sin, but we will not wait till that kind of day. The whole idea is as we walk I with love God. That. Mm -hmm. yes. We can't wait until the day we are like snow. When will it come? Yes, I come and say, I'm the young man. But no, only God is good. Then we are waiting to be which good again. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm just saying, I'm going to And so we are saying, that we need to realize that mm -hmm. for our own good, we must look for the gifts of, I mean, the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. That is our reward, our benefit mm. for our personal work on our own lives. Which when Paul says, work on your own salvation with fear and, and trembling. Mm. Because we must make heaven. Yeah. After we have fed the other people, we must feed ourselves. Mm. After we have labored, we must also be rewarded. Yes. For labor is worth of his wages. After we, if actually, why it is so important for people, especially who are born again, to open the gifts. Mm. That is the mystery behind divine uh, rewards mm. and benefits. But talking about the hindrances that we are measuring on this morning, we must remind ourselves that uh, weaknesses are there, but they should not stop us. I love that. Mm. Yes. They should not stop us from, yes. from venturing mm. into what God gave me. 
Does a father give inheritance to his children because they are holier, they give him more money, they give him less? Some wicked person may want to do that juggling, but they hold to that everybody must get inheritance. In, in fact, by law in Kenya, mm. Mm -hmm, my, my, my four sons, uh, my five children, because now even girls, even you know. Girls, yeah. So the whole idea is that uh, they are, they, are, they are hindrances just to make it ineffective. But I would want us to appreciate the fact that you should not allow those flaws. Mm -hmm. You don't need to wait until you are flawless. Mm. You need to wait until you, you feel like, uh, you know, there's no more weakness in your life. You are so perfect. Yeah. And we look at, uh, I'm not elite like the other. I'm not cream. Mm. The way they articulate yes. in expression. I like things that are perfect. I want to, the day God calls me, I'll be perfect like my pastor and mm. my prophet and my apostle. Mm. That is a weakness of ignorance. It will limit you. Because yes. that day may not come, but you'll have wasted your time. And some things, you, you, you grow in them as you exercise them. You identify them, yeah. you desire them, yes. then you walk into them by faith, as you have taught us, uh -huh. and then now, from there, you grow into perfection. Exactly. Uh, you, you, you believe God, and people are helping us. Mm. Nobody, kuna mtu najijua kisogo nyuma, eh, unapata uku kubrash, ulibrash, uku na uku kubrash, and then you see somebody can tell you this is it. In, yes. in growth of this particular, because these gifts are developed. That's what Paul says that you can develop them and desire much more. Mm -hmm. In the same first Corinthians chapter twelve, towards the twenty nine and thirty, we say desire more yes. better gifts. To Paul, prophecy is top top notch, top notch. gift. Desire it. First Corinthians fourteen five or thereabout. So we are saying yes. You could have ignorance as a problem, mm. but may God help us to understand that what is making you what are, what is making you ignorant. The truth of the matter is nobody is perfect. Nobody is excellent for him to operate, but we need to begin somewhere. Another problem is, of course, sin itself. Let's hold it right there. Glory to God. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you have a thought or question, something you want to add on to our conversation today. We're inviting you to be a part of this conversation. 20316 is the SMS line and the WhatsApp number is 0786 316 316. You're watching the Jam 316 devotional hour. Thank you for being a part of this. John Jenga listening in from Kariobangi 56. Uh, Kariobangi South 56, how are you doing? Thank you for tuning in today. We appreciate your company. Asante Sana. Since Kutoka Kahao and Dani, you say you received Christ in your life back in 2002. Ukiwa class 6, Karibu kwa kipindi chaleo, thank you for being a part of the fellowship. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, my daughter. <laughs> Bona asifiwe, karibu sana. Pastor, we were talking about, uh, there's a question here, I don't know whether we get into it. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's, let's say something about it. Somebody is asking the difference between mm -hmm. the spiritual gifts and the fivefold five five fold fold. gifts yes. or fivefold ministers. Yes. Well, well uh, again, I would say, being very honest and full of my integrity, what we say behind the, <laughs> the camera yeah. will help us so much to know that uh, we discuss these things. And as you say it, mm -hmm. it is true that uh, the fivefold ministry is a matter of gifts to the body. Mm -hmm. If apostle is given as a gift. Yes. He's him, not, the person. him the person. Yes. He is a gift. Yeye kama yeye. Paul akikuombea ukimpatia pesa yako unabarikiwa. He said mm. give to the body. Mm. Unaweza patia patu, patu pesa ukata ikapotea ingine. Mm. But Paul the apostle unasema I want to give perforita perforita that that name. He will put the perforitas. I can let her. It was sweet mm -hmm. and to, it was a good uh, good smelling unto I mean unto God. It was well pleasing and acceptable sacrifice unto God. Yes. That is going to bring about all your needs settled without pressure by the standard of heaven. Mm. And it will say it's in Philippians 4, 8, 19, 4, 4, 18 and 19. Not all of us have that kind of grace. Yeah. But they're like Apostle Paul, who do that. And they are teachers and evangelists and pastors and all the fivefold men, themselves mm. as them. Yes. It's like Abraham is a gift to humanity uh -huh. from God, Yes. the person. And these other ones are individual gifts you mm. give to your, 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 your prophecy ni ya watu tuwe mutu kwa kanisa so this is that difference that this person himself a fivefold ministry each individual is an office in itself yes yes it's yeah. an it's an it's an office in mm. itself whoever is operating that that kind of grace eh, is a gift himself and the others that uh, we talk about uh, the with uh, prophecy word of knowledge word of wisdom all these other give uh, are gifts that are individuals yes yes so that and, and, and i think it's important also for, for the church to recognize that uh you know the the, the fivefold mm -hmm. yeah even as we are saying they are a gift because they are 
placed in an office yes and the purpose of them being given mm. is for the equipping, equipping yes of the, the saints. saints that is right so that we can grow and mature that is to the state of jesus christ yes that is it very true the essence of maturity mm. What will Azima to pende? Mm. And it's a, a question of sitting under those kind, those kind of offices and gifts so that we are properly ble blessed. Amen. Mm. You are going on to number two. Now, let's go to number two. Number two is when the, 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 the fruit of the spirit mm -hmm. is not properly uh, organized, it interferes with the gifts. It is Ooh. true that gifts are without repentance. Yeah. They live with the man even if he commits sin. But they can become less effective if the fellow walks and wallows in sin habitually. Mm. They become less effective. Yeah. Because certain gifts operate within certain uh, per, uh, per, uh, environment, that, atmosphere. Yes. When uh, yes. Una, uh, uh, Jehoshaphat, they meet with the Ahab, yeah. and they want to find the direction of God. He says, bring a mistrel as the, he's singing and, and worshiping God. Mm. Then the Holy Ghost will descend upon him in a clear way to give direction. Mm -hmm. There are those gifts that operate when prayer is engaged. When prayerlessness uh, comes upon certain people, yes. the gift becomes less effective. When, when, when love uh, becomes uh, dead or sleepy or not effective, the gift, certain gifts become less effective. effective. When sin is uh, just open like the story of Samson, then you see what happens to his life. For a period of time, even though he killed more Ooh. at the day of death, but in between the time he commits in, uh, Delilah and the time of his death that he kills more, he is not effective mm, at and, all. Uh, he was at all. He was not. He was absent. He's mm. out of action actually, and that is because of sin or lack of uh, walking in the fruits of the spirit. So, but, sorry for cutting you short, Pastor, mm -hmm. but you say that and you've triggered something mm. uh, that I've remembered. Mm. You know, I've met ministers of the gospel, pastors, yes. Yes. bishops, the fivefold, so to speak. Yes, yes. And uh, when they speak, mm -hmm. you can really feel yeah, this grace. the anointing and the grace of God is yes. upon them. Mm. But their character mm. is does not display the kind of the thing fruit they of have. the Spirit. Yes, that is it. They are not kind. They are not kind. They, don't they are not gentle. They, they have no self control. Gentle with people. Mm. They are not patient. You know, they are, yeah, they they are, are not long patient. suffering. Yeah. They are not able to hold even the word of God anymore. Yes. They want to impose on people honor, respect. Exactly. You don't know, Bishop. Exactly. Have you seen my caller, by the way? Exactly. And did you see how that how many churches are under me? You must respect the oil. Mm. The <laughs> 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 and so you find mm. it becomes hard to receive. Mm. It becomes very hard from to receive them. Yes. Even though Men, when they speak, mm -hmm. they are speaking the Substance. word of God. That you know, there's one time we had a pastor who came here. Mm. I will leave him nameless because mm. he's my friend. Yes, that's good. But thank God I was not here. Mm. And the way he came, mm. there was so much pride. Hataki kusikia, kiambua kaapa, hataki kukaapa. Kipindi kienda kuanza na sema, kumbe you guys called me for radio. Me, I thought it was TV. This radio thing, I've done it for so many years. You're just wasting my time. And I'm thinking, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you were coming to minister. To mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, but when we went on air, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, amen. But, but, but um, I would want to be very cautious. Eh? Yeah. And uh, mention this to fellow ministers like me. Mm. What I've studied in my little uh, time in ministry. Yes. Your relevance tomorrow is interfered with. You can only be re relevant in a season of time. Yeah. When th those things didn't last, there are people like, we can sing a song about them. Mm -hmm. There's Uzziah, there's Amaziah, yeah. there's King Saul, there, there, there's Gehazi, mm -hmm. there's Judas Iscariot. You, you, your relevance is hindered, is limited. Your end is not good. Yes. You must be careful about personal uh, relationship with God. The f you, there's nothing in the Bible that is to be ignored. Mm -hmm. You can't ignore the fruit of the Spirit and magnify the, the, the gift of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And think you are secure. You are relevant tomorrow. Uzziah began well. The Bible said God helped him. And as long as, you know, he began at the age of 16. Yes. He was a good follower of uh, Ezekiah the prophet. Yes. Who guided him in all good things. Second Chronicles 26 and verse 5. But this guy now, he didn't end well in chapter verse 16. The Bible says, and when his heart was lifted in him, mm -hmm. then he was now destroyed because of that pride. Yes. And so when the, the, the fruit of the, of the Holy Spirit is neglected, is downtrodden, is ignored, is left on its own, then we become less effective in the tomorrow. Mm -hmm. There's always a tomorrow. And if you check the stories of our fathers, yeah. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, and Moses, and all these men who are our fathers in the faith, mm -hmm. they ended up greatly. Is everybody ending up the same way? It's not enough to start. Mm. We need to maintain finish and well. finish also well. And there are secrets to it. And among them is you have to have a correct understanding of the fruit of the Spirit. Mm. And uh, allow me to mention this. Yes. 
The problem is people don't no longer have a respect for what you call closet. When you meet Jesus, Canal will die. Yeah. You can have the gift and yeah. you can have information about I come from a system whereby we, we were teaching and even we teach mm. by what the leader gives people to do and it works effectively. Mm -hmm. We not chapel. We should probably give instru direction and yeah. everybody takes across the nation of the earth and it works. However, you as a pastor on the ground, mm. if you don't have a prayer life that is personal, you become a mwalimu wa shule. Uh, no spiritual impartation, no, no longer impartation. It's by academic education. Yes. You are educating people on what they have never known before. So it, it depends on how they are hungry and thirsty for the thing. But the spiritual flow is limited because of uh, carnality that sex in. And so it's important for us to have that closet relationship with God. You mm. can, uh, let me tell you, uh, Daddy, you can know a man who has met God mm. and a man who's working in gifts. Yes. And it's dangerous for, to meet or follow a man who is working in gifts and has no fruit of the spirit because wow. you can be imparted with this nonsense. And I say this with, with, with a lot of fear because yes. I've been in, in a place where, you know, pastors were doing very well. Uh -huh. Why? Mm. Akichapa testimony, Ziko. Mm. There's a stirring up. There have been in a situation, sir, that when people have had a perception about you, yes. they uh -huh. believe it. But unfortunately, the problem is that people can follow and then get lost. Yeah. And James says, what unto you, even James himself said, mm. what unto if this, any one of these ones who get lost because of you, mm -hmm. it were better if a meal was put around your neck yes. and thrown into depths of water. So it is not about, it is not fun yes. to follow, to manifest in gifts. So it's, it's our gifts alone. We must combine and know the truth is, we need the gifts, Yes. we need the fruits yes. of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. I know you had like how many points? Uh, normally is that to happen. Okay. So, mm, <laughs> but uh, th that is it, basically, mm. because uh, we have a lot of hindrances mm -hmm. that come away, I I as we have mentioned. Ignorance is number one on the list. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, lack of working in the, in the gifts of uh, the Holy Spirit is uh, just close there. Yeah. In the state, of, uh, the state of our hearts, you feel less, inf you're less you are inferior, you are not qualified, uh -huh. you have a wrong perception of the gifts of God. Ushaskia watu wanakuuliza kwa kanisa yako ama mahali lazima mtu ajizwe roho mtakatifu mm. and then they quote Bill Graham mm. eh, bile yako amejazwa mm. eh, lakini look at the fruit you show you who was in living in him yes yes you, you would know who was living in him yet you cannot operate without the holy spirit mm. at work. so our relationship with the holy spirit uh, him as him is determines how effective these gifts will be operated or not. People who don't understand him and don't bother about him yeah. and see him as an it a thing. That kind of joke, eh? <laughs> yeah. those kind of uh, is close to blasphemy. It's, yes. it's dangerous yes. and it limits and hinders the working of the Holy Spirit of God. Wow. Mm. So as uh, very important that there's an atmosphere mm. that must be created. For send gifts to operate. Mm -hmm. Elisha, when we just went over, I mean, to, 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 to that break it over, Elisha said that, you see, if I, 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 I have the mistral and it, it plays, then I will hear direction from heaven. Mm -hmm. And so in event that there are certain conditions that your gift depends on, like prayer, yes, uh, events, uh, love, there are gifts that will not operate until certain environments mm. are created. If you understand your gifting, you must understand the, 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 the environment required. There are some gifts that will not Excuse me. They will not operate until the the, 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 the certain conditions yeah. of the fruit of the spirit yes. are fulfilled. So we need to be knowledgeable about our gift and which environment they operate and maintain that environment. Mm. Mm, an effective teacher. You know, you can teach and nobody gets anything yes. because there's no spirit backing you up. Yes. And so that says you didn't pray. Yes. You didn't fast. Some things require fasting and prayer. Like I would tell, I don't know about anybody else, but what I understand, nobody can do church planting without fasting. Oh, my friend. Hey. You will meet things you've never met before. I'm and wonder you. wonders we've never wondered before. Yes. Because that is how it is. That's how it works. So there's that element of understanding. To mm. say, this ground is very hard. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it takes to open up a ground for this gift to operate? Very important. Wow. So ignorance of the, of the atmosphere in which gifts operate will hinder the effectiveness. Mm -hmm. mm. I think it's also, there's something you've said that I think it's, for me is very key, mm. and, and that's my take home today when you're mm. talking about the difference between talents and gifts, mm -hmm. and you said talents are for your own benefit. Yes, talents are for you. But gift is yes, for the yes, others. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, meaning if I am selfish, mm -hmm. that's negative. a hindrance. That's a hindrance, definitely. If you, and you know when you hinder, you, 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 Mm. And of course, you can't live two. Can't live to yourself and live this at the same yeah, time. Yeah. So the moment Jesus is not exalted, 
then there's also a hindrance of the Holy Spirit yes. in our lives. Yes. So every gift must be for exaltation mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ yes. in the environment. Praise wow. Mm -hmm. Pastor, before you pray, kuna, kuna SMS hapa inasema, praise God, pastors, mm -hmm. you look so good in similar coats. <laughs> <laughs> The, the spirit that spoke to us to dress today was what? It was one. Mm, it was one. <laughs> Pastor, pray with us. We thank God. So, beloved, thank you so much for all this time. But we believe God that each one of us must know, understand, and appreciate. Mm. We are gifted, and God requires of us, just like the talents that were given to the three people, the categories of people, the one talent, the five, and the two. And each one gave an account, and the master returned. The master will still return. Just Jesus Christ, and I believe God that all of our gifts will be made uh, useful, mm -hmm. effective, and uh, to help the body of Christ to become stronger, unique, special in the eyes of God and the eyes of natural men. Yes. And we, as we pray this morning, just in case you are there and you're not born again, that's where, let's begin there. You are there, you've been watching and listening, and God in his mysterious ways has spoken to you. We may not have mentioned that you need to be born again in the meet, in the speaking, but you know that God has spoken to you even a long time. You are waiting for an opportunity to give your life to Christ I thank God this is that hour. Mm. And just to do it the right, as the Bible indicates and tells us, just pray a prayer of repentance, and I will lead you in that prayer this way. Pray after me. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me all my sins. I turn away from sin, from this world's ways, and I turn to you today. Purify my life and let me be acceptable before you. Make me your own child, as the scripture says, that those who believe in Christ, they become the sons of God. Today, I pray, write my name in the book of life mm. and let my name forever remain there. And give me grace and ability to walk the, this journey of salvation to please you all the days of my life. I believe it and I receive Jesus in my life right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for that simplicity of the gospel that reaches all of us. And this dear one has followed genuinely in their heart to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. How I pray the Holy Spirit take over and guide and lead in the right fellowship, in the right way, that all the days of this one's lives, our Father, they shall make heaven as you guide and keep them in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the rest of the brethren, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ keep you strong in effect of kingdom priority mm -hmm. and identity identify with the kingdom at all times have the right perspective about the kingdom of God and the grace of God today preserve you and help you to be effective aggressively manifesting the kingdom pre uh, gifts in the, and walking in the love of God and walking in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and walking in the in the in the fivefold I mean the, in the graces of God that make us effective in our assignment mm. I pray that the hand of God be upon you and keep you from error and keep you from sin and keep you from ignorance and keep from every evil and expose you to the very fruits of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that wherever you go today may God go before you clear opposition and settle you in your inheritances in your blessings I pray for the sick that God heal everyone those who are COVID-19 positive may God of heaven heal you supernaturally and those who are not infected I pray that God exempt you and keep you off in the name of Jesus Christ and that God grant you wisdom to walk circumspectly in this generation, this time, in every situation of life. May God give you victory in every battle of life. May God pres preserve you and protect you from arrows of death and disease and mm -hmm. misfortune and help you overcome temptation and bless you and preserve you for his good day that is coming. In Jesus' name we pray, believing. Amen. 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 We pick it up from there tomorrow. Amen, sir. Awesome. Oh, we Thank you for tuning in today. In the coming hour, we get into prayer on Prayer Circle with Benjamin Waka. If you have any prayer requests, I'm inviting you to send them in now on the same SMS number uh, 20316 for SMS, WhatsApp 0786 316 316. This and more of our shows, log on to www.familymediaonline.com to enjoy a wide variety of programs from current affairs to testimonials and features pastoral and inspirational shows, kids entertainment, and so much more. Also stream live on www.familymedia.tv.